the whole thing, it all started with this. I'm so grateful to Brad Graber and Powers Animation and Netflix and this media. When they gave me the opportunity to do this project, they basically said, we want you to do it and we want you to have complete creative freedom to do whatever you want with it. And that is the biggest gift. Because I have the freedom now, I have the responsibility to deliver something that is meaningful and challenge myself to come up to the next level. Since I don't have restrictions, I really want to be the best that I can be in this particular project. So if you can imagine a Grindhouse movie with a lot of kung fu thrown in, sprinkle in some black exploitation elements, definitely add some narcos in there. Oh, and there's also magic, black magic and brujeria. And then put it all in a package and throw it into Mexico in the 70s, and you've got seis manos. So can you imagine writing music for that? For me, it's like a dream. I love the show. I loved it from the moment I started reading the scripts. The stories, I mean, there's of course kung fu fighting and there's of course a lot of violence and those kind of things that are expected in a show like this. But beyond that, there's also a really heart-driven story. So at the core, it's a very engaging adventure. Also, to have three Hispanic siblings that are the heroes of our story with a female leader, and especially doing martial arts, you know, it's unusual. And I think it's a wonderful breakthrough for these characters to represent the Latin community. And growing up in Mexico, that's very meaningful to me. It's a wonderfully delicious challenge to envision what musical palette will work in that particular world. As far as the uh, different elements, you know, I have a lot of real ethnic traditional instruments that are legitimate to their origins the xiao, the ditze, which are traditional bamboo Chinese flutes, the guchang, which is a beautiful ancient Chinese harp, also the pipa, which is an upright lute, and in the Mexico side, we have the vihuela, the guitarron, mariachi trumpets, the traditional nylon guitars, and the requinto. We also have real French horns, trumpets, a 26-piece string orchestra. All of this gives life to the score that you couldn't possibly replicate with a sample. I'm really fortunate, I got to work with some really amazing musicians in the show. Tina Guo, who's a fantastic cello player and arrow player, played on a couple of the cues and she just blew them out of the water. They sound amazing. I can't wait for you guys to hear it because it's just incredible. Rick and Mark del Castillo, who are fantastic guitar players. Lee Mahoney and Sarah Nelson from the Tosca String Quartet. We actually have a song that is featured in one of the episodes. The song is called Mal Hombre, and it was a traditional Tejano song from the 1930s. When I read on the script, I immediately thought of Vanessa del Fierro. She's an incredible vocalist, and she just has so much passion in her delivery. So I had to have her sing this song. This is definitely the most expansive score I've done in terms of styles. With all the different worlds, the ethnic backgrounds, the Chinese elements, the Mexican elements, the black exploitation elements, the fact that it happens in the 70s, so it's a period piece, the drug cartel stuff, the religious overtones, and add to that all the magic elements to it, and the grindhouse vibe to it. It was just a blast to score.